Hi, Anita. How are you? Anybody else watching? What y'all doing tonight? Hi, Cecilia. Hi, Sherry. Are you guys getting an echo from me? Doing great. The weather's been beautiful today. Not hot. Not raining. Sunny. If you don't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. Just give everybody another minute to pop on and then we'll get started. We are going to be making a witch wreath tonight. Which is night out is the sign. I've got a 16 inch, well, 15 inch wreath frame elevated. We've got 30 inch, 10 inch wide, 30 inches long. Hi, Angela. Welcome from Arkansas. Hi, Joy. Welcome. I'm glad you could join us. Don't forget to like, um, if you put live in the comments, well, actually in the comments at the top of the comments, I posted my links and there's a link on there to the, the bot. If you click on that and type in live, it will um, message you again and put get started and you'll be notified every time I go live, if you haven't been already. All right, so I decided I'm making a purple wreath tonight. So I wore my purple glasses. We've got all purple ribbon, purple mesh. And I took one of these um, brooms that you put floral designs on and I cut it down and spray painted it black. Hi Maria, welcome. So we're going to incorporate that in the wreath. I've made some witch legs. We're going to put that in the wreath. I had these left over last year from Christmas. They were gray. I think I got them at um, Target. So I spray painted them black. It's going to look really nice against the, the lavender. And, oh, I got to show you guys. Okay, those of you that do wreathing and haven't purchased a mesh roller yet, okay. Hi, Izzy. Look what I did with a crepe from Walmart. Now, it'll only hold the 10-inch mesh. But, look, I got the mesh down here, and then I have all my ribbon up here. I just have, like, a half-inch dowel rod running through the holes in the side so I'm not chasing my ribbon all over. I have the big mesh roller but I wanted something smaller on the table so when I use my 10 inch mesh this works out perfect. So what do you think? This I think this crate was only like three dollars and fifty four cents. The dowel rod I got at McDon at a uh, AC Moore, and I used my 50% off coupon. And look, isn't that the coolest? Oh, you saw it on Pinterest? I saw a laundry basket, but I didn't see a crate. But I thought for somebody that's just getting started, this is great for ribbon. Isn't that cool? And of course, I had to use the purple one because. The theme is purple tonight. So, 
Isn't that cool? Yeah, I saw them using a laundry basket, and, and that'll work for a 21-inch mesh, but I'm trying to save some space on my table here. All right, so what I'm using tonight, this is iridescent foil mesh, and I think I got this at either Sims or Craft Outlet. It has like a little shimmer to it, and this is just something I'm going to share. I had iridescent um, glitter, okay? And I put it on top of the black. Well, when you put it on top of the black, the iridescent turns green from the black. So I went with the other side, and I'm not going to put um, glitter on it because I didn't want it green. All right, so we're using 10-inch mesh. Cut it 30 inches. I'm just going to do the ruffle method because I want everything on top of the um, the wreath to pop. So this is the only mesh I'm going to be adding. And with it being 30 inches, it should hide the frame really well. I'm saying it should. <laughs> we're, we're testing it out. But I love this lavender. So that's what we're going with. Everybody have a great day. Did you all get a chance to watch Second Chance Saturday? the uh, scarecrow pot lids I did. If you didn't, it's downloaded on YouTube. Hi, Suzanne from West Virginia. Welcome. Is this your first time on? We're doing 30-inch um, ruffles here. Anita, you can also um, make snowmen out of those pot lids, too. I got a couple ideas for this this week for Saturday so I just haven't decided which one yet isn't that pretty oh I love purple Did you use, did you make your wreath kit yet, Anita? This is going to be in the way. So we're just going to use that. That's great, Suzanne. Again, it's 10 inch mesh. I cut it at 30 inches. I'm doing the ruffle method all around. And I cut my tails at 12 inches.
mesh that has metallic running through it is a very strong mesh. So I think this was either Craft Outlet or Sims Pottery. I'm not sure which. So I have quite a bit of it, so it was probably Sims. So I think if somebody wanted a kit, I could put one together. I think I have enough. Oh, thank you. Notice I didn't share which one, in case your daughter's watching. <laughs> I really need more room. Maybe that's something I can ask Santa for Christmas. A longer table. Hi Kathy, welcome. So glad you could hop on. My daughter-in-law is going to try and hop on tonight. My son had an accident at work last night. Stage 3 concussion. So we've all been on edge today. He's home. So that's good. But his head is killing him. He hit his head, he's very tall, hit his head, bounced back, and landed on the other side of his head on the cement floor, and then bit his tongue in the process. So he's one hurting guy today. Okay, I think we're going to be done the bottom row after this one. Oh, I love this purple. Purple is my favorite color. My son he walked into something at work <laughs> slammed into something threw him backwards onto his head my son is six five six three and my husband's six five they're always hitting their head on something My husband retired from the postal service and he was always slamming his head on somebody's porch. I'm making um, a witch wreath, Kathy. We are doing purple and black. I always wanted to do a purple wreath and see I could even if I wanted to take all the embellishments off and make it a spring wreath too so we have a sign which is night out I made witch legs purple and black. We also have a broom and some stars. This is actually one of those brown floral blue, uh, brooms. Have you ever seen them? Um, like these. I trimmed off 
some of the bottom and I went right above one of the wrap sections and trimmed it off to make it shorter. And then I spray painted it. Because I wanted it to look like it was in the dark. Hi, LaVon. Welcome. Where you been, girl? Oh, no. Anita, if it's frozen, go back out and come in again. But you guys aren't getting an echo, right? Because last week we had a terrible echo. It was my Mevo. It was actually picking up another day's um, video and slicing it in with the one I was doing that night. Is it still frozen? You guys are going to have to make sure you follow, uh, follow me because we're going to have a, a really great announcement in about a week. Oh no! Oh girl, I wish I could have brought you something. Like some ginger ale or something. I thought maybe it was your parents. Oh, I'm so glad you're you're up. Welcome, Chris from Australia. So nice to have you on. That's awesome. the weather like what time is it there Chris Oh, you're saying good morning, so it's probably morning. Duh. What time in the morning? Were you by yourself, Levon? hate it when you're by yourself and you're sick. Oh my gosh, that's like the worst feeling. Okay, we got three more to go. I know, isn't that... Oh, look at that. You're a milestone follower, LeVon. That's awesome. I'm so glad you're feeling better. And I'm so glad you're in Florida so you can't share it. <laughs> oh, I managed to avoid that flu all year long. Knock on wood. Oh, poor guy. He probably felt bad, though, that you were sick. Gosh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Just those colors. You should have texted me. I would have I would have called something and had it delivered for you. Hello, Amy. Welcome. Where are you watching from? guys enjoying all my little funny craft quotes in the morning how'd you like that one this morning <laughs> oh wow it's already tuesday there in the morning that's really neat to know thank you for sharing that 
Okay, let me see. Can I ask for some help in the area? I live there. are No stores that sell good mesh. We have a Dollar Tree and a Walmart. Okay. Let me see if I can. Okay, you know where you want to go, Joy? You want to go to craftoutlet.com. They have free shipping over a certain amount. They're pretty, pretty darn close. I mean, um, usually you order, and I would say about three, four days later, you have your order. And the mesh is good. There, there is a lot of bad quality out there. <laughs> Dollar Tree's mesh is, is very um, flimsy. I'm sure, I'm sure this might either Sims or Craft Outlet is where I got this mesh. Anytime you order a mesh that has metallic through it, it's really good quality. It doesn't fray very good. I mean, it doesn't fray easy. Hi, Amy. Oh, I did say hi, Amy. Sorry. <laughs> From Ohio. Okay. So you're not that far. Yes, Levon is right. Walk away from any mesh that screams, that says value mesh on it. It's just a cheap version, and the quality is not there. Okay, now see, by using, by doing these ruffles at 30 inches, it's hard to see the frame underneath. And because I wanted what I'm putting on top to be the focal point, I didn't want to add any more mesh. Thanks for spreading the love. I appreciate it. Doesn't that look... Oh, I love those two colors. The lavender with the purple. Do you know when I was growing up, my room was purple? And I actually had... Um, a bedspread that had three shades of um, purple going down the sides. I loved it. Remember then, back then, French provincial furniture was in, the white furniture. All right, these are my colors, my, my tails. I have these two, and then I have these two. Oh, isn't that interesting? Thank you for sharing that, Chris. Chris said on Sunday it's Father's Day, and they changed to spring. My stepdaughter went to Australia the one time. Don't forget to do your little birdie tails. Oh, gosh, I love these colors. Do you guys love these colors? Throw me some hearts if you love them. It's getting away from me there. Thank you. I, I love them too. Okay, the mesh is 10 inch. 10 inch mesh. It is the iridescent foil mesh. Can you see the little um, little kind of metallic -y stripes through it? It's 10 inch mesh and I cut it at 30 inches because I wanted to just use this mesh. I didn't want to add any more because I wanted the focal point to be what I'm putting on it. And I'll be putting a sign on it, a broom, some stars, and, I, and I'm going to do a bow. I'm just not sure if I'm going to add um, the mesh uh, tubing yet. Okay, Joy, it's craftoutlet.com. 
I can always put it in the comments for you. Or Levon can type it for me if she feels up to it. And April, I hope you heard that. It's 10 inch mesh, cut at 30 inches. And my tails are cut at 12. You'll be very satisfied with the quality, Joy. A lot of people order from there. And you don't need to have a tax exempt number to order from there. And I don't know if it's if your order is $69 or $79, you get free shipping. They did move their warehouse, so their shipping was not as as um there. Levon put it up for you. Their shipping was kind of sporadic because they moved their warehouse and then they had a, a flood or something at their warehouse. So they're, I think they're back to finally getting themselves back in the groove. And really, when you compare their prices to Sims, there's not that much difference. And they have free shipping, where Sims does not. So... I think you'll be uh, very satisfied. And they even carry some 50-yard rolls of ribbon. When I buy my ribbon, I try to buy all 50 rolls because it's cheaper. And see, I teach classes at my home. So when I... When I do a class, I want to make sure I have enough. Not to mention, I do um, wreath kits too. So, I need extra ribbon. I'm not sure on that, April. Does anybody else know that? April's asking, where can I get the rails, Snowman and Santa 2? Might want to check Hobby Lobby for that. They, You can order through them online also. In fact, I just ordered. I got an order coming through for, from Hobby Lobby because I don't have one. The closest one to me is like two and a half hours away. Yes, because if you put out the money for better quality stuff, you'll have repeat customers, definitely. They're going to know you use quality, and they'll come back. Not to mention... If it's better quality, it's going to look nicer. Now, if you live near a Sam's Club or a Costco, they have their Christmas ribbon out right now. And that's $6.98 for 50 yards. And that's a really good price. Hey, Sue! Levon's back. She had the flu. And we didn't know. Well, she's on here. She's up and moving. Aw, oh, thanks. My, uh, my um, puppy nanny found one of the, the Dollar Tree pumpkin frames for me. I had them in my cart. And when I went to order them, they were already sold out. So, I may have to make my own. <laughs> Doing good, Sue. How are you doing, honey? I know, it's been rough. 
I feel. Last week it was three years that my mom has gone. And I don't know. Never goes away. I know, and Harless wasn't any help to her. I said, that really stinks when you're by yourself and you get sick. That is the worst feeling. We're doing a purple and black witch wreath tonight, Sue. I love purple. Heck, I had this ribbon. I never even opened it. I don't know why. You know what's cool? I have a lot down here. A lot. And today I came down here and I was able to just go through and pull out stuff that would work together. I was so happy. Because as of this morning, I had no clue what I was doing. Oh, I'm sick of that catching on that metallic. There we go. Oh, no. That's okay. Because it's all under videos or on YouTube. You can watch it again. I'm just glad. I was starting to worry. I thought, my gosh, I hadn't seen you on anything. Nobody's live. You have to check out my second chance Saturday. I made scarecrows out of pot lids. And you could make, you could make them into snowman, snowmen too. Oh, I love this purple. And you guys have to start watching Susan and Levine. We're gonna have a big announcement soon. So if they have, I know Sue has a business page. Do you have a, a business page, Levon? Because if you do, you guys need to go over and like their pages. We're pretty excited. You will be too. Two more. And then we're going to start adding the fun stuff. There's Tequila. You got to watch her page too. I'm telling them we're going to have a big surprise announcement soon. And they're going to have to keep on all our pages. Right? And Tequila, Levon's back. She had the flu. Thank you, Sherry. I need to talk to you tomorrow, Sherry. So when you get a chance, in between bonbons, <laughs> little man is in kindergarten. Woo! -hoo! Kindergarten, Cub Scouts, and dance. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so we have our sign, which I have in my Etsy shop. Now, I'm just not sure where I want to put it. I'm going to have to turn this around a little. 
Yes, you do have to finish that page. I know you're happy to be out of bed. All right, look at that. Now remember when I, I took one of the, uh, for those that are just jumping on, I took one of these and I cut it down and spray painted it. See? I cut it right above where it's banded so it would still hold it in place. And then I trimmed up the end of it. And I've got a pair of witch's legs that I made. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to put those. And then I have some stars. Thank you. I don't know. And I want to put a bow on it. So, boy, I got a lot of stuff going on here. So let's see. If I put that there, and I put it there, and I put this up here, and I hang the legs down, I should have room for a bow over there. Woo! So I think what I'll do is I will just hot glue that down in place. And I came prepared if I needed to. I don't know if you guys saw me when Carla and I did the sign swap. I actually made a skirt out of some mesh. But I may not have enough room for that. Okay, what you, you, I think you're already a follower, so if you signed up for my bot, you should get um, an alert when I'm going live. I go live every Monday night at 645 and every Wednesday afternoon at 2. No problem, Dawn. And then um, Saturdays, I post a video to YouTube. Second Chance Saturday. Okay. First, I'm going to put the sign on. We did all purple, about, or uh, Dawn. I wanted an all purple wreath. Purple and black. It's no problem. I told them they have to all go on and like all our business pages because we're going to have a super exciting announcement real soon. So Tequila has a business page, Sue has a business page, Dawn has a business page, LaVon is getting a business page or making her business page. So... And Carla and Rita should be on soon. And they have a business page. A lot of um, great designers. Hi, Jean. Welcome. Thank you. Look at that. Jean's a milestone follower, too. Woohoo! I got a lot of great people on here. This is awesome. Okay, we've got the witch's sign on there. Welcome, Kathy. Where are you watching from? I have this sign on my Etsy shop. I have extras. And like I said, I probably have enough to make a couple of wreath kits, too. 
have to uh, make up some witch legs. All right, so I want my broom about there. So I'm going to hot glue that on. This broom was in poor shape when I got it. I think it was 39 cents at the thrift store and 20% off. So you're from Ontario, welcome. Dawn, Levine was sick, she had the flu. But she's back amongst the living. And we're so glad, right? Okay. So we got the broom on there now. Now... not sure how I'm going to do these. I may have to make a bow to disguise the legs on the broom. A small bow. So I think I will just take that down that way. They're all sparkly too. I don't know if you can see them. But they're sparkly. I love that fabric. Okay. Long enough to go and wrap around here. I thought I was going to put my skirt on, but no. I think a little bow right there, and then put my black, because there were black stars in the sign. These were actually just a wooden star that had gray rope all around it. And it was um, from Target last year. Welcome, Judy. And I think the um, the team that won the Little League, Little League World Series was from Louisiana. Oh, no. Dawn went shopping again. That's okay. I didn't go out, Dawn. But I shopped like heck online. And I shouldn't have. Y'all, I'm making gnomes. Welcome, Joy. And I am just like, oh, they're so addicting. All right. So I think what I need is just a little bow up here to disguise the legs. So let's see. Oh, do y'all see this? You know those crates at Walmart? I put some dowel rods through. It holds a 10 inch, 10 inch wide mesh and at least five rolls of ribbon. Yes, they played well. Okay, that color doesn't look good. So I think I'll use this color and make a little bow just to cover up that. Oh no! Oh no! How did you get out alive, Dawn? <laughs> oh no! Is Rachel on? Rachel has the neatest signs, y'all. 
Anita, you should go on her uh, Etsy store and check out her signs. We need to sell more signs for Rachel. If she gets to 50 signs, her husband's going to buy her um, a CNC machine. And she needs that CNC machine so she can make us some awesome signs. <laughs> this is awesome. You guys are all on here together. Yay. I know, right? I was going to build a box um, for just the ribbon. And I didn't have to. It's one, it's half inch dowel rod going through. Can one of you all put um, Rachel's sign site on there? Is it Rachel's Crafty Corners on Etsy? She hand makes all her signs. In fact, the witch, uh, the cauldron that I used last week came from Rachel. I glittered it and added some um, added Hazel's brew on the front of it in my vinyl. She just made a mummy sign. It is so cute. And wait till you see what she's got coming up for Christmas. Oh my gosh. Too cute. What kind did you, which one did you get, Joy? Did you get the, the, um, oh, what's his name? The Frankie? Don got Frankie. Okay, that doesn't look too bad, does it? I'll have to play with it a little bit, but that works for me. It covers it up. Oh, no, is she okay? Anita? Which one did you get, Sue? All right, and I think I'm going to do a big bow over here, and then we'll figure out where we're going to put our black stars. I think I'm going to put one there. Awesome sauce. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, you checked on her. Okay. All right. I think this will be... All right, I think I'm going to do this one first. So I want, or no, you know what? I'm going to do the black one first. And you all know I don't use the, oh, you got the cauldron too? Oh, I love that. I vinyl, I put the words um, Hazel's Brew on the front of it. I need my, uh, my girl Hazel. I'm using the Pro Bow, guys. It's a lot easier for me to handle. There we go. Can somebody post Rachel's site, her Etsy store? I think it's Rachel's Crafty Corner. She makes signs, yes. Um... I got my witch's brew, my witch's cauldron. She's got the Frankenstein. Um, she just made a mummy. What are some of the other ones? Oh, off the top of my head. She just showed us the mummy yesterday in our Zoom call. That's all right, Levon. You'll catch up. We'll help you. Yeah. 
tangle going on there. There we go. Judith welcome Fleming Island that sounds really pretty what's the weather like there today Hi, Tina. Welcome. Welcome back, girl. How are you? Did you survive the flooding? I saw your video. That was horrible. You didn't get any flooding in the garage, did you? Tina, do you live close to the uh, the Little League? Or are you on the other side of town? Oh, good. Now, are you on the side of town where little, the Little League is? Because we have some girls on here tonight from Louisiana, and they're proud of their team that won. Oh, uh, okay. There you go. LaVon posted Rachel's Crafty Corner on Etsy. It's, there's a Z, the letter Z in her name. Did you find it, Le or uh, Anita? She's got awesome signs. She makes them all by hand. Pretty nice, heavy, too. Okay. Get this on there and get our stars on. And then I think we're good. My all purple and black witch wreath. May have to add a few more loops on that bow. You don't think there's a Z? If you can't find it, Anita, you let me know. I will I will send it to you later on in the morning. Because I have a a meeting after this. There. Did you try the link? Did it like did you did you click on it? Did it work? Cuz if it didn't, you let me know. We got to help Rachel out. Uh 
Okay. Great, guys. Thanks for helping Anita out. There. It needed another loop on both sides. There we go. All right. Okay, it's Rachel's Crafty Corner. If you can't find it, I will send it to you. So don't worry. Oh, there you go. Dawn put a link. Thank you, Dawn. And she has free shipping, and I think there's 15% off, too. So you need to check it out. I always add a zip tie to my bows um, just to keep it secure. I use the wire to tack it down, but... Yes, Victoria, what you do is you look under videos and it will be there. And then tomorrow I upload it to my um, YouTube channel. So you'll be able to view it here under videos or on my YouTube channel. Either one. You're welcome. There's a lot of talent on this page, Anita. And there's going to be more. You just wait and see. Whose anniversary? Happy anniversary. Okay. Then we've got two of this color. Oh, yes. Okay. Now I know who Cindy is. She doesn't let anybody go dry <laughs> on Dunn's, right? Welcome. Maybe I need to hire Dawn or Cindy over here. Yes. Because there are a lot of dry, dry people here on this one, too. <laughs> and she does such a good job over at Dawn's on Dawn's page. So we're going to have to borrow her. Cindy, can we borrow you? Thank you. Uh, you should be snuggling up with your honey. But the kids are probably home, right? Almost done. All right. Let's 
put our bow on and get our stars in place. And we're done with this purple sign. Oh, wow. First football game as a high schooler. That's neat. All right, I'm thinking about right here. Yeah, right here. This is the part I hate. I always pinch my fingers. I started out with um, 10 inch mesh, cut at 30 inches. And then 12 inch tails. Look at that. Joy knows who you are. Everybody knows Dawn's bartender. <laughs> okay, this got to go up a little. have to shift that up a little. Tie it just a little tighter. Don't you always feel like you're looking up somebody's dress when you're doing this? There you go. Go for it, Cindy. Thank you. We needed a bartender. Okay, so we... Jeez. Her legs are going a little floppy there. All right. Now we'll put on our stars. I've got three of them. I'm just letting everybody know if ever you paint something black and you go to put iridescent um, glitter on, it turns green. So I had another, there it is. I knew I had another glue stick. So we've got our broom and our bow to cover up our legs on our broom. I know, right? I wanted to do the purple. Ugh. This is, I hate this wire. It just won't stay. I've been wanting to do a purple wreath for a while now, so... I might end up having to hot glue all this because it's just not staying where I want it. Okay. So yeah, it turns the glitter green. So it's probably the reflection from the uh, from the black. So all right, we got one more. One more star to put on. Uh. Well, I'm just not finding a place.
Hmm. That's where it'll go. I'll put it right in the middle of the bow. That suits me just fine. I created my triangle effect. That'll work. Awesome sauce. And then I'll glue it down when I get it where I want it. Okay. How's it look? Can you all see it? I'm sorry. I should have just did this from the very beginning so you could see it when I was working on it. We got our broom that we cut down and spray painted. We spray painted our stars from last year from Target. Our sign. My handmade legs. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. Thank you. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I'm, I'm thrilled. Because I just wanted purple, lavender, and black. And I got it. Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Dawn. Thank you, Kathy. All right, guys. I don't think I want to add. I was. I had tubing here. I don't know. It might. I don't know. I kind of like the softness, but yet that gives it another added touch. I don't know. I'll, I'll review it tomorrow and see if I want to add the tubing or not. No? You don't think so? Okay. Yeah, I, it, I got, I, it did everything I wanted it to do and then some. So, I'm really happy. Thank you, Joy. All right, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close with that. And, um, like I said, keep watching all our pages. We've got an exciting announcement coming up soon. So, if you haven't liked my page, make sure that you um, type in live. And then when it, my bot sends you a message, type in get started. Okay? And look for me on Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Thank you, Levon. And say a little prayer for my son in hopes that he's feeling much better tomorrow. He has a stage three concussion that he got in an accident at work last night on the job. So we're praying he gets better soon. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Good night.